Hey there and welcome back to the video series. So we created the listing of a particular product in the previous video. We can see we can click show here and we get the details on this. So that is really nice. Uh, next up is the edit. But before I do this, I just want to show briefly because uh, we didn't have the chance to see what happens about the validation because we created validations for these fields. So if we forget some of those, let's imagine I just click submit here. And this is what actually happens with the validation that it will validate whether it is required. And remember that we we actually marked it as required in the store function here. So it will tell us that the name field is required, the detail field is required. So that is automatic. We don't need to do any validation code except calling the validate on the request. So that is also built into the framework. So if I type some information here, it will write that, okay, the detail field is required. So that is the point about the validation there. So what we need to do is we need to create a new view and we also need to modify our controller because we don't have any code in the edit or in the update. So the edit will just show the form, just like the create and the update will do the actual update. So the first thing is we go to products and we create a new file called edit.blade.php. And as we've done before, we can write extends and we can do products. We can take the layout. So now we have extended the basic layout here. And we also do a section in the content. So we tell Laravel that we want to uh, use this content section that we defined in the layout, this placeholder. So now we have the edit here and I'm just going to copy the, the HTML in here and then I'm going to explain about what's going on here. So we got a, a bootstrap row again, we have a header, edit product, and again we have the back button that will uh, allow us to go to the index route and the index route is uh, this route here the overview where we can see all the products so that is with the blade syntax then we display any errors if there were some problems with the input and that is actually the area where we get the validation also this area up here this will display the errors that we want to show to the user then we go to the actual form, the update form, where we write the form action. And then we again use blade syntax to get us the route for the update. And remember that we haven't written any code for this yet. So nothing will happen at the moment. And initially we write post here, uh, but we change it to put because usually when you update, when you send an update request, you use the put HTTP method. So we just change it here. And then we also mark this form with the cross site request forgery blade directive that will protect this against this attack. And again, you can go and read on this um, in the Laravel documentation if you want. You can just search for cross site request forgery. Then there is information about the, the CSRF field that you should put in every form in Laravel. Okay. Then we basically have a new row that will have the, uh, the name, the uh, detail, and then we will put the value that the product that we want to update have. And finally, we have a submit button. So it's a lot like the create, except that we pass along, we inject the product that we want to update. We didn't have this in the create. All right, so that is the UI, the front end for this. And now we need to code the uh, the controller so that it will allow us to actually update this. And luckily uh, the update will look a lot like the one in the create and also the edit. So let's first, let's take the edit because it will just show the form. So it's just a view we need to return. So we say return view. And again, we will find the uh, edit view. And we can see here that we get the product 
that we want to edit so we act actually have access to the product so that's really handy so we will compact this send it along like we've been doing before so we've just returned this view and we send or we inject the products that we want to update in the view okay and if we go back to have a look at the edit here we can see that that the view expects to have the product so the view expects to get the product that we want to update so we pass along the product here so that is the edit the update is a little bit more complex but fortunately we can actually take the code that we used in the store because it is a lot like the same so we take the code in here and let's just modify it a bit because the validation is the same whenever we update a product we should make sure that the user doesn't delete the name or delete the details so that is still required uh, we need to change this a little bit here because if you take a look at the function header we can see we get a request and we also have the product that we should update so now we should not create a new product we should just use the one we have so instead of typing capital product we just write product the variable and then we do not call create we just call update and again it's the request we have and then we still call all and then we redirect the user to our front page the product index and then we send the uh, success message that it was created it wasn't created it was updated so that's basically it about this uh, update let's have a look at our front end application if we go back now and we refresh it here we can see if we want to update product 7 so now we're taken to the the edit uh, view here that we made just before and we can see the URL products because we are using products and we have the ID and then we should edit it so if we make a new update it even more cool now okay so let's just submit this stuff here and we get the message here product updated successfully it has been updated in the view uh, and i think it has been updated in the database as well yep goes all the way to the database and um, we can show it again see the data we can also if we edit it again let's just see let's test if we want to violate the validation if we remove the details so now we violate the validation now because we wrote here that it should be required so if we submit this now we should have an error now yeah okay so the validation works so now we have to create we got the get where we show a particular product we also have the edit we can update it and finally we just need the delete and we're going to create the delete in the next video so hope you make this work and have fun with us bye bye